Of these two top five teams, I understand we do. In the final four, yeah. And 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 you guys can see um, we we played really well, and you can just see why Syracuse is a team that can win a national championship. They just don't go away. They just keep coming and keep coming. And they made uh, so many adjustments. Um, they I don't need to get into it, but it's why Jim Beheim's a Hall of Fame coach. They we had so many things we were stopping, and they would come out and do something else. And then we couldn't stop Chris, and then we couldn't stop Fair, and then we couldn't stop Carter Williams, and they just kept changing. They, they just they played a great game, and on the road, we hit, I think, the threes in overtime were the three at the end, obviously. Luke Kayahu getting the offensive rebound, and the threes at the end. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you said uh, Louisville was the kind of team that can win a national championship, not Syracuse. So what, what does that make you guys want? Uh, you, know, um, you know, I don't think we've done it as consistently as them. You know, when we lose a game, <laughs> it's pretty ugly. When you can see when these guys lose games, you know they're on the road against a team that's playing their best game, and they still have a chance to win it. We, we got to get to that consistency level. Um, but this is how you start it. You know, you got to beat teams like this, and you got to go on the road and, and go at Notre Dame, and you got to play uh, with the same level of efficiency. And we, we haven't proven that yet, but um, we're starting. And you defensively, defensively, you guys were kind of letting them run down the clock late in regulation. Did you ever think about you know, maybe pushing them a little more to get them? We, we were so, um, er, early in the half we did, we extended our defense a little bit and just within the half court, and that's when Carter Williams just started just, just ripping us down the lane. And so uh, we were so concerned with him. If you open the floor up, you know, we like to press a lot, you know, and you, you just can't, he's so good with the ball that you just can't open the floor up on him. And, uh, if we would have got down a little bit more, we would have had to press, and you have to do it, but you know against them, with him, it's, it's really difficult. Yeah, you were down six with four minutes to go, and really kind of seeing the ball fairly ugly at that point. Were you yeah. telling them at that, at that jumpstart, I think there was a timeout right there? Wasn't yeah, there? I, I definitely remember that. I, you know, what we talked about was, okay, we're getting decent shots, we're not making them, but the only way we're going to win this is we got to get stops. Uh, because right now, they, they were... It was a long period that we were both trading baskets, and then we went cold a little bit, and then uh, we, we really came up with some great consecutive stops. I think the next play was a was a steal um, where Darren Hilliard got a, a goaltending call, I believe it was the next play, which helped us a lot. You know, our defense sparked us there, and then we had some big time stops down the stretch again in overtime. It's, it's a, you know, it's, it's starting to uh, create a level of consistency for us, a high level of consistency, which to be a good team in this league, you, you have to have. But you're, and you're still going to lose games. Like, I thought Louisville played really well, and they come in here and they lose the game. I thought Syracuse played extremely well, um, and they lose the game. So in this league, you're, you're going to play at a high level of consistency, and you're still going to lose some games. But if you're not playing at a high level of consistency, you're going to lose a lot of games, you know. And that's this is where we're, we're starting to get to. This doesn't mean we're going to run off every game. This means we got a chance to be a good team in this league. That's what it means. I know yeah, you're hard to think about the next game, next game. But do you think we'll take a moment tonight to just consider the historical impact of this on the program? Yes, I will. I definitely will <laughs> because we we are off tomorrow. And the greatest things about these 11 o'clock, 12 o'clock games. Uh, these Saturday afternoons and Saturday nights, you get a nice Italian dinner. It's the greatest. <laughs> but when you lose these 11 or 12 o'clock games, wow. this day lasts forever. So this is this is really one that we will savor. Jay Bell, um, could you describe his countenance? I mean, he, I counted up. He had nine straight misses. Barely shot in the first half. Yeah. He had nine straight misses with the free throw misses, and yet he still shoots. I, shoots. I am amazed. Uh, I'm, I'm going to steal that word from, from you. Uh, I am amazed at his countenance. I really am. Because he does this all the time. You know, you think, why don't you come out in the beginning of the game and do that? Why don't you come out in the middle of the game? He, he did this in the St. Joe game, did some Purdue game. He did this in another game. He hit a big shot. He's got amazing guts, this kid. And, I, you know, he really takes responsibility for our team. He really does. He's the guy, he's the leader off the court, he's the guy that talks to everybody, he's the guy I talk to with Luke Cow. He's an amazing young man. It's, it's really, um, it, it's, that's how you win big time games when you have guys like that that just have great character and great guts. Aside from what Hilliard did on offense, no turnovers in 38 minutes? Unbelievable. Unbelievable performance. 25 points.
points, you know, six assists. I thought he was really the key uh, to us attacking the zone, the, the difference is time and when we played them at Syracuse. At Syracuse, we got the ball inside to our bigs um, and we made some shots, but we couldn't <coughs> penetrate with our guards. And he got inside the zone, got fouled, he got inside the zone, made plays. He had, a, he had an amazing game. He also had a great defensive game. Jay, you were able to limit their fast break. You know, they only had two fast break points. And, and you always talk about how they yeah, are able to fast. kill you. Is, yeah. is that the maturity of your defense, being able to do things like that? You know what, Terry? In this game, I, I, it's our offense. Because we only had 14 turnovers against them. Who They, they create turnovers like Louisville does. So every time you turn it over against them, they're gone. And, and they're as efficient. Then they, you know, it's, it's Jim Van Hyman and Tim Tebow. They work together and learn. They do the same thing here. If, they, if you turn the ball over, they are on the attack. And they practice it, and they're good at it. So our lack of turnovers is really the key. So remember, early in the game, they got a couple. We called a timeout. And, and it wasn't our defense. It's, it's if we're going to turn the ball over against these guys and not get the ball down to the baseline. If you turn it over up top, they're scoring. We're, we're as good as anybody in the country, those two teams.